The Hemnes Daybed from IKEA is undoubtedly a very popular piece of furniture, especially for small spaces. It is the epitome of multifunctionality. You can use it as a twin bed, a king bed, a sofa, and even extra storage. I've gotten a lot of questions over the past few months about this bed regarding its dimensions and its level of comfort. So after four years of using it, today I'm going to tell you everything I know about this bed and give you my honest opinion so that you can make an informed decision. So when the bed is all collapsed, it is 199 centimeters in length and 104 centimeters in width. And this is how I use it 99% of the time. I don't really have any problems sleeping in this configuration because I'm only 167 centimeters tall. But occasionally I have found myself kicking the sideboard when I've slipped too far from the pillow. But if you're taller than 5'6", I actually wouldn't recommend it. If you're using this in your second bedroom or in your office as a sofa, then you can put fitted sheets over the mattresses as a cover and arrange a bunch of pillows around it to make it look more like a sofa. And for seating, I like to use a larger pillow for my overall back support and a smaller pillow for my lower back support. But let's be honest, using pillows as back support just isn't very sustainable. Over time, the pillows are going to sag and it's not going to be very comfortable. So I actually can't sit in this position for more than an hour. But to me, that's okay because lounging around for hours doesn't seem like a good idea anyways. But when this bed can really shine is when you have a sleepover. what you see in the marketing material when the bed is expanded. The pillows are on the same side as it would be when it's in a twin bed position. However, you can actually sleep in a different configuration with your head along the length of the bed. And in this configuration, it's just two inches shorter than a king size bed, which gives you plenty of personal space if you're sharing this bed with someone else. So the Hemnes Day Bed with just a bed frame is $399. But if you want to get these two stackable mattresses, then they are $150 each. So the whole set in total cost around $700, which is not a small amount of money. However, these mattresses are not the most comfortable thing in the world to sleep in. When I first got this bed four years ago, I really didn't care about comfort level. All I cared about was looks. And in the beginning, the mattresses were fine. They were pretty firm. But over time, the area in the mattress that was in contact with my back started to sag. And that means it couldn't provide as much support for my back. Sometime last year, I actually found myself to have some kind of discomfort every day when I wake up. And for the longest time, I didn't know what was happening until I read the reviews for these mattresses on the IKEA website. And it seems like a lot of other people are having the same problem. However, if you really want to get these stackable mattresses, or if you already have them, something that I do is I would switch out the bottom mattress and put it on top, and I switch them regularly. Or I'll flip the top mattress the other way so that I can sleep on the unsagging area. I know it's really a hack, but it actually helps. So when it comes to likes, the number one reason for me to buy this bed is the way it looks. The look of a day bed is just perfect for a studio apartment where there is really no separation between the living space and the sleeping space. And the look of a day bed helps to make the apartment looks more like a living space rather than immediately stepping into your bedroom. Another thing that I really like about this bed is the drawers under the bed. It's perfect for storing away things like beddings, extra pillows, uh, towels, and off-season clothing. Okay, so I'm a pretty handy person and I've assembled a lot of different IKEA furnitures. But when I bought this bed, I just decided that it probably makes more sense to hire the workers to do it for me. So the IKEA people came in and they assembled it in no time at all. But I'm sure if I were to do it myself, it would have taken hours. When I moved from my parents' place to here, I got the movers to help me take it apart and then put it back together. And this bed survived the move with no problem. So in terms of quality and durability, I think this bed is pretty great. But for assembly, probably tricky. And two people is definitely needed. 
So overall, this is a very versatile piece of furniture that you can put in just about any room. I really like this bed because it solves my problem for a studio apartment. And as your needs change, this bed can adapt and transform to fit your needs. And it's something that you can bring with you as you go through different stages of life. The quality of the bed is really good and it's held up really well for me over the years. The mattresses, however, are not very comfortable, so I don't recommend them. But if you can narrow down your needs and if sleeping is your primary use for this bed, then using your existing twin or double mattress is going to be a lot better for comfort. And that is everything I know about this bed. Let me know if you have this bed or if you're thinking about getting it. Do you have the same problem with the mattresses and how do you go about solving that problem? If you still have more questions, feel free to leave it in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. And with that, I'm Tina Tomato. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.